Hello coders, Synthetic Programming here with a brand new video for you guys today and today we are going to be doing the second method out of three to uh, program Pascal's triangle in Java. So if you guys missed the first one, the first one we did you can see over here was Pascal's triangle using loops, okay? So that's another video. Um, I'll probably link that one in the description. You can probably also find it in the related videos. Um, now we're going to be programming Pascal's triangle in Java using a different method called binomial coefficients, using the binomial coefficient method. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing today. And uh, if you guys forget, Pascal's triangle is a triangle in which every unit in the triangle is made of the addition of the two units above it. Uh, you can see there, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 will be 4, and then 3 plus 3 is 6, and so this is how the triangle is generated. So we're going to uh, program this generation using uh, Java. Okay, and today we're using, like I said, the binomial coefficient method. And then the next video on this uh, topic will be how to program it using recursion. So make sure to check those out. And uh, remember, all this code is going to be available on GitHub, link in the description. Let's get started. So the first thing to do is to save this one as in Pascal's triangle. We'll save it as Pascal underscore binomial like that right and remember we're saving it as a dot java file right there there it is so uh, we got pascal binomial dot java okay so let's get started first thing to do is to import java dot util right dot scanner okay and we're going to be using this later to uh, get the user input. So we're going to be giving the program uh, the max row to process. So if we say um, 10, it'll print the first 10 rows of Pascal's triangle. Okay, so let's get started with the class. So we'll say public class, right? Public class, and then uh, we'll say Pascal binomial. And it is very important that you name this right here, the name of the file, okay? Uh, that's just a very important thing to do, okay? So now we are going to add our braces like that, and we can start writing our functions. So the first one we're going to write is print. So public static void, all right? Uh, and then print. So we are writing a print function, and the print function we are writing is going to take an int, which is row, okay? So this is our uh, start of our print function. We are going to put our next set of braces there and we can start writing it. So there's gonna be a loop in here for, right? Int i, uh, actually no, sorry, n equals zero, right? Uh, semicolon, so it's n equals zero, n, while n is less than row, okay? So we are iterating from zero to the length of row. Uh, and then we are going to, uh, because remember if we put in row 10, we want it to go zero to 10. Okay, so now the last thing we do is, remember we do n plus plus, just like that, okay? So that's our loop, we need our brackets there for the loop. And inside the loop, there's going to be another loop Okay, so for this one is also going to be an int, right? And uh, this int is going to be called k. k is going to be equal to zero. And while k is less than or equal to, right? Less than or equal to n, okay? Um, we are going to do k plus plus. So we're iterating up until k is equal to n. Add some more brackets there. And here we put system dot out dot print, right? Uh, and we are printing. This is going to be slightly complicated. Um, this is going to be n c k, right? Just like that. So lowercase n, uppercase c, lowercase k. Sorry, guys. And uh, in here, we're putting n and k, okay? Those are, because we're gonna be writing this function uh, soon, okay? So this is a function, and then n and k are gonna be 
the parameters that we put in, and then we're going to add to them a space. Boom, just like that, okay? And put a semicolon there. That's the only line in this one, but once we go below it, we can write the next line, which is system dot out dot print ln with uh, parentheses and a semicolon. Okay, so that's actually our entire first loop. Uh, next thing we are going, sorry, first function. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to write that nck function. So public static void. Uh, and then this is, remember, nck. And nck, remember, is going to take an int n and an int k. Okay? And uh, so we can put our brackets. Okay, and now we have int. And uh, int is going to be the numerator. Okay, so int is the numerator, which is equal to fact n. Okay? So now we are going to put a semicolon there. Now int denominator, right, is going to be equal to fact k, like that. Oh, and also uh, fact is a function we are going to do, be defining directly after this, okay? So fact k, but it's not just fact k, it's fact k, and we're multiplying that by fact n right, uh, minus k, just like that, okay? So just to recap, we are doing fact k times fact n minus k, okay? Now we're gonna write down here int, and then result is going to be equal to, uh, and then in parentheses int, out of parentheses, another set of parentheses, uh, and it is denominator, oh sorry, why would I say that, numerator minus denominator, okay? And that is, why did I put minus when it is divided? Numerator goes over the denominator, I'm stupid. Okay, so numerator divided by denominator is gonna be our result, and then a semicolon. Perfect, and then we are going to return, right, uh, the result. Perfect. Okay, so now we can move on to writing our next function. And the next function is going to be the function fact that we just used so well. So public static int, like that, right? Uh, and then fact. Also, I forgot that up here it is not void, it is int. So let me int perfect okay cool public static int down here uh, and then fact fact is going to take int and num is going to be the variable we use add those brackets and after the brackets we are going to write int result equals one okay oh semicolon um, after that we say for int sorry and um, for int i equals one uh, when i is less than um, sorry less than or equal to number so num then after that we are going to iterate i plus plus just like that put our brackets and after those brackets, sorry, inside the brackets, we're going to say result is going to be equal to result times i, just like that, okay? And then we put our little semicolon down there. After this one, we say return. This is outside of that loop. Return uh, result, just like that. Perfect. Okay, and then 
our last function. And remember, this is going to be the function that takes the user's input. This is where we're going to input that row number. We are going to put in here uh, public static. Uh, this one is a void. And then main, because it's our main function. This one is going to take a string, capital string, make sure. Um, and then add args like that are brackets the very important brackets um, then we have scanner capital scanner lowercase scanner right is going to be equal to a new uh, scanner like that and in the scanner we are going to put system dot in because we're taking the user's input remember so let's put our semicolon there. After that, we are going to say system dot out, right? Uh, dot print. And it's not print line, it's just print. Um, we are going to print enter the maximum row number to process okay and that's going to be our input it's going to tell us make sure you add a semicolon it's going to tell us which row to print until uh, then we say int row is going to be equal to uh, the scanner dot next int All right next capital int okay and then with some brackets and a semicolon uh, and then, sorry, parentheses and a semicolon. And then we just do print, right, row. And remember that, and remember, sorry, remember your semicolon, but also print row. Row is this uh, function that we, or sorry, print is this function we wrote up here, okay? So, and it takes row. So we're, this is when we're calling it in our main function. So we wrote all these functions up here, uh, and then we're gonna be using them and calling them from down here. Okay, perfect, so that should be done now. So let's save that. Uh, let me pop open a CMD. Let me bring it over here, that command prompt, CD desktop, CD to our Pascal's triangle. And now in Pascal triangle, we are going to Java C. Let's Java C uh, Pascal binomial, yeah. Like that, binomial and uh, dot Java. Okay, so hopefully there are no errors. Let's see. No errors. Perfect. Awesome. So now we can call it. Let's try calling Pascal's triangle uh, written in Java from a different method using binomial coefficients. So we do Java uh, Pascal's binomial with no extension. So don't have dot class, don't have dot Java, just do Java Pascal binomial. So it asks us to enter the maximum row number to process. Let's do 10 rows. Boom, and there we have it. The first 10 rows of Pascal's triangle using binomial coefficients. Awesome, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember all of this code here is going to be on GitHub so you can go copy it or clone it or check it um, against your own. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out our website at syntheticprogramming.com. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to our two patrons on Patreon, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.